Ferrari, the cars that make Formula One sing. In 64 years, they've won more titles than anyone else. It is Ferrari's biggest triumph yet. But their tune has changed. In recent years, a runner-up. For Ferrari, it is now time to set the record straight. For a new beat is pounding. Formula One is about to change beyond recognition. Aerodynamics all change. There will be lighter loads of new ranges of fuel. Fuel is becoming really very important for the performance of the engine. So, uh, like new Formula One for everyone. Above all, there will be new engines. The naturally aspirated 2.4 liter V8 engine replaced by a turbocharged 1.6 liter V6 powertrain, complete with energy recovery systems. This is what will power the dream to win again what the past three years have all been about. A drama of flesh and blood and science. In the northern Italian town of Maranello, the story begins with a birth. This is the day the new V6 Ferrari engine will be heard for the very first time. To be in here, you have to belong. This is for close family members only. The countdown to the future. No triumphant fanfare, but there is music here. A symphony, three years in the making. There is a world championship to complete in the old car. Sebastian Vettel and Red Bull are dominating Formula One again. For the Ferrari drivers, it is a grueling season. Everyone in the Ferrari family is suffering. There are a few words to summarize 2013. We are not happy at all about the result. It has been quite a season where we like to forget as soon as possible. Being in Ferrari, you, you have to win. Second position is not position for Ferrari. For every engine, there must be fuel and oils. Shell's Formula One fuel contains at least 99% of the same types of compound normally used in road fuel sold everywhere. The new regulation imply a completely different concept of fuel. The fuel is becoming really very important for the performance of the engine. The FIA put a limit of 100 kilos of fuel for the complete race. So it means that here the objective will be to reduce more than 30% fuel consumption compared to what we are doing today. So this means the strategy of fuel consumption during the race may become critical in some races. We have a brand new engine, brand new powertrain, uh, really, I would say, cutting edge technology. Reliability is playing a key role. Each driver will have only five power unit for the complete season making engine life almost double what we are doing right now. It's going to be producing in excess of 600 horsepower, turning at 15,000 RPM. The turbocharger itself can be operating at up to 1,000 degrees C uh, and rotates up to 125,000 RPM. That's 2,000 revs per second. Incredible figures and all these things that the, the oil has got to cope with for around 4,000 kilometers, which is a monumental task when you consider we also have to try and maintain performance, but we also have to try and extend durability and protection. So that really has been a real challenge to our oil formulators. I think what we are facing at the moment is the most important challenge we had in the last at least 20 years in Formula One. Whilst the perfect fuel and oils are blended, it is time to test an altogether different chemistry. This will be an experiment that will raise the temperature and quicken the pulse. Ferrari's proud history and the future. Five million euros worth of virtual racing. Two tons of simulator. 
Tonight, the driver will be Fernando Alonso. It's the first time the Spaniard has eased himself behind the wheel of the new car, albeit a virtual version, under the watchful eye of his race engineer, Andrea Stella. The simulator allows the driver to get used to all the new systems and procedures. There is so much that will be new in the new season ahead, a season of momentous change. There is a mountain of data to be collected, sifted through and analyzed. But this is also about the touch and feel of the driver. Everything in front of him and behind him is different. Will the engineering and the design marry with the human who must control them? So very new is all this, but these are nerve-jangling times. This is a totally new driving experience, from the instrument panel to the car's straight-line performance to its cornering. Fernando will have to learn how to manage his fuel in a car carrying around 30% less, how and when to use the energy recovery systems that will improve lap times by as much as three seconds. They have just over a month before they head to Jerez in Spain and drive for real in testing. It's nice to come back uh, behind the wheel and uh, start. Uh, you know, we cannot uh, wait too much because the, the regulations are uh, very different. So it's nice to be back and uh, try to share some ideas with the engineers. Obviously, uh, we need to, to learn and we need to, to practice a lot of things. And uh, we are in a very uh, first part of the program and uh, it's nice to to be involved in this uh, new thing, no? because it's uh, like new Formula One for everyone. The return of the last man to drive a Ferrari to a world title, Kimi Raikkonen, the Iceman of Finland making a slow entrance. I didn't manage to park it. <laughs> a chance for a little nostalgia in a warehouse of heritage. Ah, it's that one, yeah, yes. Um, I, I mean, it looks... Uh, the color was a little bit different, like we can see uh, on that here from the previous years. But I mean, I think it looks nice car because it has all those uh, details that we used to have, and, uh, and the rules were a little bit different. So uh, it was a very good car. Uh, I had a good, good races with it, so uh, well, it looks nice. It's nice to come back uh, and start working uh, with Ferrari again. Testing in southern Spain is approaching fast. It's the final sprint in Maranello before the drivers put the new Ferrari through its paces. The brand new F14T. Day and night the work goes on. It is a question of completing pre-testing projects, putting in the final detail. The last of the final touches in the long, hugely complex process, the livery. Famously red, romantically rosso, 100% pure Ferrari. The F14T, the hope for the future. It is the culmination of the efforts of many, in Maranello, in Hamburg, in hearts and in minds. Time to put that hard labor to the test. Jerez and then Bahrain are the proving grounds, and progress is made. There are testing times, but the power unit remains reliable, valuable miles go on the clock, and lessons are learned. For those devoted to this cause, the feelings are still so strong. When you work for Ferrari, uh, obviously the, the passion is really what, what you've got inside. I think that we are really, really lucky to be part of that company, to be part of that sport, uh, because really we are enjoying our days here working with Ferrari. I think looking back over the last few months, I think the whole team should be incredibly proud of what they've been able to do so far. For three years, this has been an adventure. To reach this point, the free spirit of invention has run as a partner, a co-driver to the clear reason of pure science. Dreams and engineering in a race to be here. 
to be on the starting grid of the new age of Formula One. But it is just that, the start. What will come next? To develop a car and uh, technology that has been never used before in Formula One in uh, 12 days of testing, this has been uh, an amazing work. I think there's a lot of places that we can improve and uh, we'll be surprised how fast we can go with the cross. Our aim is uh, to fight for the championship and our aim is to, to win the Formula One World Championship. There is no other thing I will lie if I say something different. We are Ferrari, we have to, to deliver always. People expect a lot from us and uh, we are ready to, to do so. When the lights go out, the Strident Symphony begins. <laughs>